For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Monday, April 11th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. A Whitingham man is facing multiple charges related to an incident on Saturday. Vermont State Police say 43-year-old Andrew Ferguson allegedly assaulted a family member and then operated a vehicle while under the influence. Ferguson was arrested and charged with domestic assault and DUI. Ferguson was released and cited to appear at Vermont Superior Court, Wyndham Criminal Division, today for arraignment. The Vermont House will vote on establishing a state code of ethics. The bill, with amendments from the Government Operations Committee, is on the calendar for Tuesday. The change proposed would set the code into place upon passage. An international conference on agritourism is coming to Vermont. The August 30th to September 1st event will include agriculture and tourism industry professionals from the United States and beyond for educational sessions, poster presentations, hands-on workshops, farm tours, and networking events. Farmers, agricultural service providers, tourism experts, and those interested in learning more about agritourism are all encouraged to attend and share your own knowledge, experiences, and expertise. You can sign up online at VT agritourism.com. Brattleboro's Brooks Memorial Library hosts a discussion on promoting democracy on Tuesday. Political activist and retired history teacher Tim Kipp says understanding, expanding, and sustaining democracy can perhaps lead to a bridging of this not-so-grand canyon of a national divide. The event takes place in the library's meeting room and by Zoom Tuesday evening at 6.30. Vermont's Fish and Wildlife Department has opened its moose permit lottery 94 permits are available for hunting in the far northeastern part of the state. You can apply online at vtfishandwildlife.com by June 22nd. WTSA Sports, a Brian Dahlbeck six-inning home run proved to be the difference as the Red Sox beat the Yankees last night 4-3 to avoid a sweep in the Bronx. Boston is at Detroit today, first pitch 5-10. The Yankees host Toronto, first pitch at 7:05. Jason Tatum scored 31 points to lead the Celtics past Memphis and claim second, or I should say, claim the second seed in the East. Celtics beat the Grizzlies 139 to 110, and that is the season finale for both teams. The Bruins lose to the Capitals last night 4 to 2. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Monday, April 11th, have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.